How's it going everyone? This is Tricks from Meta of Smash, and in this video, we're going to be going inside the mind of 10 different players and kind of conducting a blind study or a blind test on how they would deal with these different scenarios of Falco attacking them on shield. And like I said, this is going to be a blind test. I didn't inform anybody in advance of even the questions that I'd be asking them. I didn't tell them that had to do with their shield. Uh, they didn't get a chance to even talk to each other. One of these videos, I want to try and get inside the mind of different players, right? And see what you okay. do when you're in shield. And I just want you to answer like out loud what you would do to deal with each of these scenarios. So okay. there's no wrong answer. You can do whatever you want, whatever you personally would, would do. It's another, we're doing like a blind test. I still don't get. I still don't have no clue what's going to no, happen it's all or good. what the what the point of this is. No, it's good. That's the whole point. So we got. Uh, are, we got are we just playing a game? Uh, I'm trying to do your intro. Oh, don't <laughs> don't do my intro for me. So none of them even knew who was going to be in this video, so they could talk about anything in advance. So I wanted to try and keep this as authentic and pure as possible to get real answers from these guys. And this is going to be kind of a lengthier video, but there's definitely some good information in here. So be sure to watch it at length and take away as much of it as you possibly can, especially if you are a Falco player yourself. Some of this will be extremely useful for your game, especially if you're having trouble ledge trapping. I'm thinking of making a ledge trapping video uh, with different techniques uh, in the future. But as for right now, this is just like to get a sample size to see what works. Uh, what confuses players, what is easy for them to deal with, do they use uh, character specific moves, just stuff like that. So without further ado, we're just going to get started with the first option. If So going to shield, if you're in shield and I'm just narrowing in front of you, what would you do to get out of the situation? Of course if you're going to let your shield go down, but like what would you just, what would you do? Well if it's at low percent and you like narrow into my shield, then I'll just narrow out of it. But okay. if you're like fading back a lot, then I'll probably roll back and try to catch your landing with a dash attack after that. Okay. So you would contest it in some way. You wouldn't try and escape. Obviously, we're at low percent. You could probably get some sort of combo off of me playing recklessly. Or maybe, yeah, just yeah. Try, and, try and catch me. You're not too afraid. And you shouldn't be. So. Yeah, it just, like, it just depends on how you're landing on the shield. Like, if you're doing it and you're fading into my shield, then yeah. I'm going to nair out. But like, if you're doing it and Falco like like fades back, I'm not going for that because I'm not going to get the hit, and then I'm just going to get punished for it. Okay. Uh, probably, if you're just nearing, yeah, roll away is probably the best option. Okay, so the snake does not have the greatest out of shield options unless I parry like that. Okay. So you obviously like I don't think doesn't like hit. Okay, so you'd roll away. Right. Uh, I'll probably just aerial or just. Up tilt, depending on how close you are, because if you're DAIing away, I can't up tilt out of shield. Okay. So, just, so, so I'll just pop there out of shield. Okay. You can do something to get me off of you. You can run away. You could roll. You can attack. Like, what would you try and do? Yeah, probably roll. Just roll underneath. Or to try and there, but if you're yeah, because like it catches after wait till it's done. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I can't. I can't. And then. Okay. If that's just how it is. That's just that, just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do to get me off of you, or what would you do to escape? Nair out of shield. So nair out of shield. Okay. And if I'm just nairing on your shield, what would you do? So just nair. Nair out of shield. Out of shield nair. Okay. What would you do to get out of this? Would you would you contest it? Would you try and time something? No. You just back no. Away. I just I just back away because that's kind of my playstyle. So. With okay. this character, at least. Okay, so you just, but if I had to punish you, I'd go for like an up tilt or something. Okay, so you do, you might do something, but you probably just back away because it's not worth it. Yeah, I'd probably just disengage. Yeah. This is gonna be like a split second interaction, realistically. But shield tilt. So you just shield tilt. You'd stay in shields. What you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I know. I'm not. I even... feel like if I shield, I feel. I feel like if I shielded your Nair, I would instantly short hop Nair out of shield myself like this. But what would you do? to get past this or would you run away would you throw it out? so you throw it in there uh, most likely yeah, shield. yeah narrow the shield okay what about if you're backed up right in the corner would you do the same thing if i'm just doing well, it, this yeah yeah because i know because with uh fox if you were going into my shield i could just do this and then try to go for a, a grab afterwards okay or, or, or if you were like fading back i would probably drop shield and try to dash and take okay so, so then you're shielding, and if I'm just narrowing on your shield, so you can test with an attack, that's what you probably do. 
Well, if it's Falco's Nair specifically, then yes, because his hitbox is not great, and I know it can beat it. Okay. Because Snake's Fair has a longer range and more priority. Okay. What would you do in this situation? There's no wrong. There's no wrong answer. Just what would you do, as a player? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so attack again, or up till attack in some way. What would you do in this case? Okay. Um. See if I can combat it. Let me just actually do a neutral getup and see what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So you th throw out it an aerial of some sort. Yeah. Okay. If I'm, if you're not close enough, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and swords, you know. <laughs> yeah. And... They generally win situations. Yeah. Okay. If I say I'm doing the same thing again, what would you do to get past me? Uh, if I neutral get a boon in the shield. Yeah. Uh, probably jump. Okay. I'll probably clip, but I'll probably jump. Probably jump. Okay. What would you do in this situation? Would you? Uh, I mean, it, that's the problem with uh, being Yoshi is like most of my options, the best option is near out of shield, but I guess... Uh, you don't have to be creative. If that's if that's your answer, that's your answer, right? No, like, that's the answer. Yeah, okay. that's the answer. Yeah. And now you're just okay. in the corner and I'm doing the same thing. What would you do in this case? Probably, well, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Clock's ticking. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Slow down. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's all good. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think because her anti-airs aren't like fantastic, and you're kind of at a weird angle. So, I mean, again, there's that. So up till. That's, that's like frame 15 though, so it's not the best option. I'm trying to get up or forward tilt. You don't have to attack. You can even just escape. Like, well, yeah, I mean, besides the escaping option, which would just be, like, maybe bomb or just jump away, like, off stage, because still on the ledge isn't really a bad place for me to be. So you would stay away off the stage? You wouldn't try and roll underneath I think I could still... or jump, pa jump past or anything like that? You're like... Roll, trying to roll past would still get me caught, or at least that's what it just did. But i just try and... Yeah. Yeah, if you do something like that... Because then you could just do a back air out of that or something to punish mm -hmm. me, so... Okay, so what would what would be your first instinctual option to get past? Either I would roll or spot dodge. Okay. Right. Uh, jump. I would. Hang on one sec. So I neutral get up, come up shield. I would jump out, and I would probably try to jump over you like that. Okay. So you would you would more so more often than not try to escape rather than contest. Yeah, I would I would try to regain stage control and reset the neutral. Yeah, what would you do to deal with this? Mm. Hold up. Oh, you range it. No, oh, if you can't, if I can't hit you, you can't hit me. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh shit! Oh I didn't do that. My bad. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like Nair. Oh no, that will not work. Well, Nair can still work. He's got to time it right. So. There you go. Yeah, probably Nair. So probably Nair. Okay, Nair's fine. Um, let's say you're at 140% and mm -hmm. you're in shield and I just run at you. What would you do? Oh, I'm trying to roll. I'm definitely trying, trying to roll. Because cause, cause being this close to, to the um, to the uh, ledge, I know that anything you do, especially with um, Fox, I'm going to die. So, mm -hmm. like, if because I usually what Falcos go for, well, what I, well, the usual ones I fight is they'll go for four there. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to avoid that because at ledge, I'm going to die. Okay. So yeah, so you most likely you would roll. Would you would you ever jump out of the way or just roll or run no, under me? Spot hell dodge? no, definitely hell not no. Jump. I'm trying to like I'm trying to roll because like if I jump I'm gonna get caught. If I spot dodge I'm gonna get caught. And if I try to attack then I risk trading and like losing my stock. Okay. So I'm um, so my like I'm going for a defensive option there. Um, I'll probably go for an offensive one just as like as a mix up. But other than that I'm trying to like get out of the way. And trying to live a little bit longer because i know the stock is about to be gone mm -hmm. so i just want to get uh, like like just a little bit more percent or hopefully another stock before it be um before i lose it okay so what if you're at let's say 140 percent and i'm at 20 and you're at the ledge in shield and i'm just narrowing on your shield would your would your answer change 
Would you? I really don't think it would because Nair doesn't have the most kill power in the world. Oh, it will kill if like I hit nine times. Really? Yeah, Nair, if Even my if I, if I hit you at 160 or 100, or 150, let's just say 150 percent. You're at death percent. Let's just put it that way. If I hit you with this, you die. What would you do? Uh, you would just up smash. I don't, <laughs> try try doing yours. That's what you'd go for. Seems like the best option because out of shield, just that. But you're in the air, so it wouldn't work. This is too slow. So you Either wouldn't. That or you, so, so, but I'm at tw like let's say I'm not at 140. I'm at 20, right? So you're not gonna get a kill. Is all I'm trying to say. You're not gonna ki get a kill, but if I hit you, you will you will get killed. Up tilts there is probably the most safe option because up smash is unreliable. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't even combo into itself. And let's say you're at like 140 percent. Okay, so you're at death percent, or maybe let's say 150. If I hit you with Nair, you'll die. Is pretty much what I'm getting at. So let's say you just did you just did neutral get up. You're in shield, and I'm just pressuring you like this. What would you do in that situation? I'm also at like 20 percent. So if you hit me, I won't die. Uh, I'll just try to get out of the corner, to be honest. So you'd either jump or roll or something like that. Yeah, I respect. Um... I try not to jump because I respect Falco's aerial game. Okay. If I jump, I'd probably just jump off stage and arrow him to push him off the corner. Okay. So you most likely jump, or no, you most likely would roll and then you would jump secondary, you'd say? Yeah. Let's say you're at like 160% and I'm at 20. Okay. okay. So you just got up from a neutral get up, you're in shield. If I hit you, you'll die. Right? But so, I can have a smash, and you, you're gonna get some be in a pickle. <laughs> well, let's say you yeah, do this that. low profile, this low profiles. Oh gosh. But then uh, I just do that or things. something. Yeah. Okay. So you would contest it with some sort of attack. Hopefully that I don't see that coming. Yeah. Okay. So you would attack, but you're at let's say 160 percent, and if I hit you with Nair, you'll die. What would you do in that case? Stay in shield. You just stay in shield. Okay. And I'm just doing the exact same thing again, just pressuring your shield. If I hit you, you'll die. What would you do in this case? Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, I'd still, I'd still say, I could still say Nair out is the best, just because for Yoshi anyway, it's you just throw out your hitbox and fucking pray for the best. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess if you're, I guess if you're, you're about to die. I don't know. Probably wait until you're safe and then jab or roll out. Um. Okay. Uh, probably, probably just wait till wait till you're safe, and then just try and get out. You know. So what uh, what defines safe? If I just don't stop, what makes you safe? Would you just uh, try and time it, or? Yeah, I would say like just at the end of like like relatively near the end of like the hitbox. You know, just maybe yeah. roll out or. So as soon as I or, land or something. Yeah, like maybe jump out and maybe switch the position, like. Just to something that you're more advantageous in, because if you're at the edge of the stage, you're just you're in just the worst position possible outside of being off the stage. Yeah. So what would you do in this case? If I hit you, you're probably dead. just probably just disengage with down B because it makes my hitbox a lot smaller, and your nair won't hit that. I don't think. But at then, least I haven't tested that. Okay. But you're still in the same situation. You're not getting back to the stage. So yeah, just... I'd roll behind too. That'd probably be in the next next. Okay. But like, if I needed to get away, if you're gonna punish with something. Like going this way, I would obviously just down be off stage, but otherwise I would just roll this way. Okay, so I'll say just uh, probably roll. And then I can then I can immediately just like throw out that or something. Okay. First, I would uh, tilt my control stick diagonally downwards, like towards the left. Okay. Just so I can just so I can uh, try to di sdi and survive. Okay. <clears throat> so you'd essentially just take the hit rather than like. Throw it in there, roll behind, try and jump <clears throat> forward oh, tilt, mean, something like that. Oh, I mean, my first attempt would be, um, well, if I had a different character, I would, uh, I would probably, I would probably like forward there. Fair, okay. You, you I would, would now. I honestly feel like I would contest it <laughs> with a forward <laughs> like that. Okay, okay. So you're at at death percent. You contest. I, I honestly would. I would probably die for it because I'm bad, but hey, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any other good option here unless I'm trying to jump over you or roll behind you. Okay. And I mean, I guess roll would work, but yeah, I mean, I guess roll would be the best option, but that's also the most predictable in the corner, so it's hard mm -hmm. to say. Yeah. 
well, of course, you're, you're, you're also taking into consideration that I'm not going to do this 50 times. And you're, if you roll behind, I'm not going to stay doing this. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to do a, like a tilt something. So, yeah. So you said fair, maybe roll. And I'm hitting you on shield with Nair again. So you go for a grab? I grab and just try to combo you. Try to get the most percentage. <clears throat> okay. Um, so grab. Okay. So grab, try to go for bread and butter. Okay, that makes sense. So let's say you just got up from neutral get up, you're in shield. So go into the middle or corner of the stage again. So if you're a corner of the stage, if I just run at you, what would you do? If you, well, if you just ran at me, I'd just try to grab you out of shield, personally. So what if I was coming in with a grab? If you then anticipate would, that, right? Like, I would most likely get grabbed because I don't really spot dodge all that much. But if I was anticipating you to grab, I would spot dodge. Okay. Like if I was like if I knew you were going for it, I just go like 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 I just spot dodge away from it. Okay. Well, I know I like it's, it's easier. To, it's it's not easy to <laughs> stage it, but I know what you're saying. What would you do? Because I could do putting this. Putting out a nade. So you do probably another. While attack. you're running up, I'd put up a nade and then dash attack. Okay. Because then if you grabbed, the nade would cover it because it would blow up for the grab finishes. Okay. Didn't attack. My dash attack would beat it. Okay. It's a good question. Okay, so you still go for an attack. So let's say you did neutral get up, you're in shield or you're in the corner and I just run at you, right? You don't know if I'm gonna do a dash attack or a grab, I'm just running at you, okay? So I could come up and I might get a grab, right? I throw you off stage. Or maybe I come in and I do a dash attack. You don't know what's coming. So what would you do if you're trying to prepare for both? To be honest, I just like shoot out my arrow. If I see someone like fast dancing or running at me, just just head on. I just shoot out my arrow real quick. Okay. It's a little time. So you try and yeah, you try and so back me away, right? Yeah. Okay. And let's say I just run at you. You're in shield as well. Okay. So you're in shield, and I'm coming at you. You don't know if I'm gonna do a dash grab or a dash attack, land with fair. Uh, you just don't know. I'm just coming at you. So what would you do in that case? I uh, roll. Well. So you'd roll away okay right now let's say you're at like 70 or 80 percent so if i hit you with something you won't die but uh if you're in shield going to shield if i just run at you what would you do in that case so i'm running at you i could do a dash grab something like that or i could potentially also do like a, a dash attack as well so you don't know what's coming what would you do if i'm just running at you i could also do a fair just something uh probably uh, i guess you could spot dodge probably spot dodge okay like I'm running, uh, but I'm, I'm running at you though. I don't just stand there and wait for you to stand up. So like we meet at the corner, like right here. Mm -hmm. So in that case, what would you do? See, there's this handy thing called that. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw out a jab, okay? Yeah, just throw out a jab, which could then, you know, I could just throw. Or, that's probably not the best option, but um, but so like, like jab to or just give you give me enough of a window to roll behind you or something. Yeah, so like, the thing is, it's very, let's say it's very telegraphed. No matter what, I'm not going to do this and then, like, do that. I'm 100% yeah. coming at you. Yeah. Okay? So you would say, let's say, you you throw out some sort of hitbox. Jab, uh, charge shot, a missile, down tilt, yeah. forward tilt. Jab would be my fastest option. Either that or down tilt. Down yeah. tilt has good range, too. So. Okay. I would try challenging it with a short hop there. Short hop there, you said? Yeah. Okay. So in that situation, what would you do if you if you have someone uh, running at you? I'd be like, mom. No, not that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, that's B. not wrong. That's not wrong. So as a character specific thing, you neutral B. Okay. So let's say, let's say, um, if you do something that's not character specific, if you're going to use a normal of some sort, let's say if you're playing any other character, let's say you're playing Palutena, you're playing. I'd probably do that. Probably like, get back, go back. Okay, so you'd, you'd come back off stage and then try and do like a rising fair or a rising yeah. nair or something like that? Try to get them off guard. Okay, so you try and catch them before they can catch you. Uh, what if I'm just standing in front of you and you're in shield? Like, let's say you just did a, lead, a neutral get up into shield and I'm just like contesting you like this, right? I'm just trying to poke uh -huh. at you, potentially get a kill. Oh, no. Boom, got him. <laughs> no, but let's just, say, let's just say I'm doing something like that. Of course, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't die at zero, but like, Let's just say, I'm just contesting you like this, right? I'm not actually going would, in, I'm just pressuring you to do something, right? This is very safe on I my part. Likely, like, I would most likely roll here. Probably roll? Um, that's just, yeah, that's just a habit, because I wouldn't know what else to do. I mean, my only other option 
would be to like like come out of ceiling like like fade back um why am i signing <laughs> like i was like <laughs> yeah like i was trying to illusion past you but yeah. i will most likely roll here because okay. i'm trying to get back to center stage okay. and it's not really the best option but i don't know what else i would really think about doing okay all right so options are then the, la bad. the last thing is let's say you did neutral get up and i'm standing right here all right and you're gonna get up and you're just in shield and i'm just doing tilts in front of you Please. Oh god. What do you hear? There's not a wrong or right answer. I'm just curious as to what you would do. So that's your answer? Something like just get away? <laughs> Which is Especially, fine. Yeah. Try to interrupt him. Try to make sure you don't make him stop. Okay. So you try and like time that. probably try and time something. And between or, your tilts. Yeah. What if I just run away and do that? You're a bitch. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Um, but so. Just like, try and get a quick attack in, in between his options. Okay. Because if Snake's in disadvantage, there's. He's in a really bad spot. He's not, like, back to the stage for free, or he can get out of combos. Okay. So I have to make sure that I can't get in that state. Okay. Going to Beastly. Let's say you just did a neutral get up, uh, and I'm just standing in front of you. And I'm just throwing out tilts, okay? I could walk away, come a bit closer, throw out a nair, something like that. Just kind of space you out with this. So what would you do in this situation? That. <laughs> <laughs> so you hopefully get a parry. Let's say you didn't get a parry. Like, because it's not, it, it is consistent, like if you're good, of course. But let's say, um, let's say you're at like, maybe even this percent, because every time I hit you, you're getting knocked off stage, right? And I'm not just going to stay in there brain dead. I'm going to try and walk out of the way, maybe throw it in there, get you back in the corner, keep tilting. But essentially, the main thing I'm doing is tilts. Mm. I could probably just stay in the position. <laughs> probably <I'll laughs> just do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's very character specific, but I'll take it. I'll still take yeah. it. <laughs> okay. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. That's all the questions. Last thing is let's say you just did neutral get up and you're in shield and I'm just pressuring you with tilts, okay? I can walk away from you, I can walk a bit closer, you know, throw out a nair, something like this. What would you do to get back to the stage or fight me or escape or whatever your thoughts are? Mm. Usually either narrow shield or roll. Corn doesn't have a lot of other options, but okay. uh, that, 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 too. <laughs> that works too. Okay. So you still contest it in some way. Yeah. Okay. And you just got up from a neutral get up and you're in shield and I'm just doing tilts in front of you. Okay. So I could walk away and get a little closer. I'm just, I'm just pressuring you with stuff like this. Okay. What would I do? What would you do? Right. Of course, I'm actually going to try and hit you as well. I'm not just going to stand here because you could just shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> but like, That's what I'm saying. If yeah. you're trying to hit me, I'll probably just jump. So I'll probably... shoot it and jump. Okay. So you jump. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to repeat myself again that essentially the point of the video is to show that this move is actually good. Because a lot of Falco players just don't use this move at all. They might use it for like getting people off of you out of shield. I see that a lot. I do a lot myself. But at the ledge, using this as a poking tool is exactly that. It's fast, it can knock them back off stage. It can set them up for pretty easy stuff too. Like if you hit them with like uh, F tilt into runoff dare, or uh, fair, you can get, I wouldn't say an easy kill, but you can get a pretty pretty solid gimp or put them in a bad spot. Same situation, you're on the edge. Let's say you just did neutral get up, you're in shield, and I'm just pressuring you with tilts, okay? And I could walk away, walk a little closer, Throw out something like that, do a nair, right? So in this situation, what would you do? Ideally, I think the right answer here is to try and parry it because, I mean, it's a tilt. Mm -hmm. Essentially, essentially, you want to try and parry it. It's a single hit. Okay. Um, me, personally, I'd probably just shield and then either jab or tilt myself, but I think I think the right answer, quote unquote, is you know you, you should be parrying that. Okay. The idea or the study, I guess, is I'm taking a bunch of 
uh, randomly selected players, and it is going to be, like I said, a blind test. Nobody knows in advance. You didn't know in advance what I was going to ask you. And I just wanted to get, uh, get answers from people as to how they would deal with certain things and kind of just see inside the mind of your opponent, right? Just something like that, just to see um, what you would do because a lot of people don't really know how to pressure on shield. So they end up doing, let's say, Nair on shield or they, they do this, go back and forth, and then you just get out of the corner for free. But let's say yeah. you got up out of uh, off the ledge you're right where you're at right now. You're in shield, and I'm just throwing out tilts, right? I'm walking away, throwing out tilts. I might do like a nair, like that, kind of spacing you out. But it's mostly tilts, right? And if I hit you, you go off stage. We reset the whole situation, right? Yeah. So this is what I'm doing. So yeah, you could throw out a forward <laughs> tilt. Yeah, there's no wrong answer. This is it, just... gives, it gives me the ro the most range. Or let's do it again. Oops. Okay. Down tilt, okay. Yeah. So that's what that's frame doing. six. Yeah. Okay. I would I would try to try to uh, use a projectile to try to get back on stage. Okay, so for like point blank, at least as Link, you would probably throw out a boomerang or like or an arrow or an arrow. Okay. So some some sort of projectile to get past me. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 So in this if you're case, there pressuring me like that, and you're mostly using grounded options, to be honest, I would straight roller out of that, like that. Okay, good call, good call. Yeah. Right. If you're using more aerial options like that narrow, then rollers doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we'll say if I'm on the ground, this is character specific, because not, obviously not everyone has a roller, but let's say if you, right. if you didn't have roller, you had to use, okay. a, let's say you had to use a normal of some sort, and like you're not gonna die. If I hit you, you won't die. So I'm just doing this, mm -hmm. just pressuring you. Let's say, let's say, imagine that you were like Marth or something, right? Okay. Or maybe Marth uh, I would, or Fox something. I would most likely, I would most likely turn my back here and try to back air pressure you to get stage control again. Okay, so you pressure me back. Yes. Okay. Just keeping you in the corner. Hey, that instant, you kind of have to roll behind. So yeah, as soon as you get up. Okay, so you probably roll. You think? Yeah. Trying to like time it where like he's probably gonna land for a laggy move. That's well, yeah. Roll. The point mostly is that I am going for uh, tilts and there. I'm not really gonna do anything that's that slow or very committal, right? Mm -hmm. So that was that's pretty much your answer is just roll behind. Uh, roll behind, check and test. You know, a forward there maybe. Nine Falcos out of ten. Like let's say you did a neutral get up in the corner. And you mm -hmm. went into shield or whatever. Let's say you just recovered. They do this. They land with. Oh the yeah. They fair. go like this all the time, right? Because yeah. it's in Smash Four at least. Go and hang on ledge for a second. I don't know if I'll hit you because you hang pretty low. But in Smash Four, you could land like that, and his chest hitbox would hit you. So it hit like a Charizard or a DK. Actually, DK has a different animation now, so I don't even know if it would. But anyone that stuck their head above the stage, you could go like that, and you could hit them. Now it doesn't work like on anybody. But people still do this, right? It's like, okay, if you do like um, neutral get up, maybe I'll get you. If you do a get up attack, hopefully you do it before <laughs> I land and I hit you once you stand up. But if you do uh, roll behind, you'll get past this every single time, right? Except for that. Time. Yeah, I feel like fair <laughs> is way too, it's too, it's committing too hard to a move. It's too laggy. Yeah. Because like the hope is that you get up in neutral, neutral get up into shield, and then I can just like jab on your shield like that. Or like throw in a tilt right. afterwards, but there's so much wasted energy, I guess. Where right, I could right, just right. stand there and pressure you with the tilts, right? Because yeah. With those tilts, like I said, most people they took like uh, I'll say Coltman for example, he took like 20 seconds to give me an answer. He wasn't actually <laughs> sure what to do, and in that hmm. time, which is it's it's interesting to me because in that time, I could have knocked him off stage five times. He could have gotten killed because he just didn't know what to do. He could have thrown out the wrong option. Right. He could have just stayed in shield. I can run up and get a grab because, as brain dead as that example was, that's not clear. That's not really how I would use it. But if I mix it in there with nares, down tilts, uh, dash grabs, uh, just anything like that, just jabs, back airs, like the, just having that forward tilt be a part of the mix rather than just jumping in and doing a fair or jumping in and doing nair. Pretty much everybody had an answer for when I just said, I'll just nair on shield. 
They, they said that they would time it. They said that they would roll behind, uh, contest it with their nair or their fair because it's better than mine, right? So mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, for the most part, yeah, most people, it was, it was an interesting thing to me that so far, I'm going to do one more person, but so far no one has had, or not no one, most people haven't had a, a clear answer to say, if you do this, this is exactly what I would do, and here's why, which is interesting. Gotcha. And with that, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, it was a pretty long video at the end of the day. If you did, stick around until the end of it. It's greatly appreciated. I really hope that you were able to take something away from this. And at least for me, my main takeaway, if anybody was wondering, at least what I got from all this data, is um, that Falco's forward tilt is actually a pretty good move at the ledge. And I'm going to try my best to put together a extensive ledge trapping guide using that move as the main focus. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you found this style of video interesting. I'm actually, I'm thinking about doing more videos like this, doing these blind tests and just collecting data in a, a style like this. I, I think it's actually pretty valuable, pretty useful for a lot of players. So let me know what you guys think. And one last thing I'd like to mention before I go is that we do now have a Meta of Smash merch store online and the link is in the description if you are interested in supporting the channel. Once again, this is Tricks from Meta of Smash saying thanks for watching the video.